Galatians 6 and 1. This verse is used all the time to justify the meanness and hatred I see online in real life as Christians say they're just correcting their brother and sister in Christ. But let's take a look at it. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path and be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Look, there's three C's I was taught to grab from this verse. The first C is Christ-like. Is there some kind of biblical principle to your connection? Are they even actually committing a sin or are they just doing something you don't like? Look, scroll on to the next video. Get back in your car. Go home about your business. You're wasting everyone's time. The second C, compassion. Would you really respond to someone calling you a clown, a dog, anything but your name? Then why are you doing that online and think that person is going to respond to that? And the last C, is there actually a connection? Do you even know this person? Do you know what they've been through? Do you know their mental health? Are they grieving? Did they just lose somebody or just acting up for a moment? No, you don't know this person. Social media got us all twisted. We don't know these people. Let the people that actually know them actually correct them. Come on, Christians. Let's, let's act like we got some sense. There's no perfect Christian. We're all doing the best we can in what God has given us. One Christ, one church, one love.